unashamed and naked in a garden that has never seen the rain. Rulers of a kingdom full of joy, never marred by any pain. The morning all around them seems to celebrate the life they've just begun. In the majesty of innocence, the king and queen come walking in the sun. But the master of deception now begins with his dissection of the word, and with all his craft and subtlety, the serpent twists the simple truth they've heard. While hanging in the balance is a world that has been placed at their command, and all their unborn children die as both of them bow down to Satan's hand. Then, just before the evening, in the cool of the day, they hear the voice of God as He is walking. But they can't abide his presence now, so they try to hide away. But still they hear the sound as he is calling, Adam, Adam. Are the only crops their struggles ever yield? He eats his meals in sorrow till he sinks into the dust whence he came. But all down through the ages, he can hear his Maker calling out his name. Adam. Adam, where are you? Adam, Adam, where are you? And though the curse has long been broken. Adam's sons are still the prisoners of their fears. Rushing helter skelter to destruction with their fingers in their ears. While the father's voice is calling with an urgency I've never heard before. Won't you come in from the darkness now? Or it's time to finally close the door. 